This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Smile, the makers of my most used productivity utility, Text Expander. Get more done faster. Find out more at smilesoftware.com. Mac Voices is at Macworld iWorld 2014 in San Francisco. I'm Chuck Joyner. We're in the Avatron booth talking to Tom about Air Display. Tom, it's great to see you. Nice to see you, Chuck. Tom, I, I've used Air Display. I love Air Display, but I've never seen a setup quite like this. So we're going to talk about both the setup and the software. Excellent. Thank you. So Air Display is? Air Display is an app that allows you to use your iPad as a wireless second display for your Mac or Windows computer. And what we're showing here today is we have um, two iPads set up as uh, wireless displays. I can move between them. Let me just do this. So you can take a window from any of your displays and move it across. Um, as far as the Mac is concerned, these are just external displays. Um, you can... what. Probably the biggest use for this is graphic designers, developers, or um, people who use a lot of screen real estate. I use Photoshop quite a bit, so I like to keep my work on my main screen. I put my palettes over on one of the... I usually run it with one iPad, but I put my palettes over on my iPad, and then it's out of my... They're accessible, but out of the way. Um, we are... Oh, so the setup that we have going here today is a little bit unusual for us. Uh, we're also working with a company that makes this product called Sidecar. And Sidecar was a kickstarted um, project. The, the mission is exactly this. It's to give you something that will allow you to connect your iPad to your MacBook. And um, these are pre-production samples, but they've been working at the show. They've been working great. People are looking at them, grabbing them, kind of manhandling everything, and it's holding up pretty nicely. And it also looks pretty awesome for a trade show booth. But um, so Air Display, back to that, is is a ten dollar app available in the App Store. You can use it on iOS devices. These two are both running off of my account, so I paid ten dollars once. I can run both my iPads and my phone if I want to. Uh, we have an Android version also for ten dollars. And then um, our other kind of cool thing that's not as popular, but you can use you can install Air Display on a second Mac or Windows machine and use that as a second monitor. So if you've got a machine that you run an old version of FileMaker on or something like that where you need to keep it on your desktop but you don't usually use it and it's got a beautiful screen, why not use it as a second display for your Mac or Windows machine? That's, That's very cool. So in the fir first, to talk about the sidecar, I'm going to take every center airline seat now and open this up and drive everybody crazy. But, Fantastic. But having said that, when you're when you're taking the uh, the Max display and moving it over to the iPad, do we have any refresh issues or delays or anything, or is it pretty solid? It's um, for for using Photoshop or any sort of static type usage where you're like iChat is another good one or Messages, I guess now. Uh, you don't really notice any latency at all when it's a mostly static image. Um, I've been showing a video just to give it give you the idea that if we can show a video this well, anything static is good. The Wi-Fi in here is pretty sketchy as this is a big room with lots of Wi-Fi networks. But the marimba playing, you can see that we're getting about, you know, there's a little bit of jankiness, but I've been watching it pretty closely for the last few days and it's about 20 frames per second in a crowded room. So it kind of depends on your network and what you're showing. And that's, I want to make sure we get that. That's a key point. It's really dependent on the network, not on any Bluetooth or anything between this and that. It's Wi-Fi. That's right. It is a Wi-Fi device. Um, and, you know, each, each of the devices has to be set up on the same network. If you're using a Mac or Windows computer as your second display, you can, we can do it through Ethernet, and then that eliminates latency altogether. But most people are doing it this way with an iPad via Wi-Fi. So for $10, I can basically turn any, pretty much any old thing that I have into a second monitor for my Mac. That's right. And when it's an when it's an iOS device or an Android device that's got touch capability, you can touch touch the screen and start action going as well. We have an on-screen keyboard that if you you know if you've got a browser over there, tap the on-screen keyboard, you can type in your URL or whatever and hit enter and get it out of the way. And pretty much the way that you do it. It's, it's an iOS app that's $10. It's driver software that's free for Mac or Windows. You can install the driver on as many Macs or Windows machines as you have. And then, you know, when you go to work, you can connect it to your work machine. You go home, you connect it to your home machine. 
And it's $10 in the App Store. $10 in the App Store today. The website to learn more, if there's any more to learn, is? Avatron.com. Tom, thanks so much for the time. Thanks, Chuck. Good to see you. Good to see you. Folks, more from Macworld I World 2014. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Camera work by John Zakowski of Azimuth Productions Video San Francisco at videosanfrancisco.com. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, app.net, Google+, and Facebook. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date with all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com.